hey hello and welcome this reflects once again in this video i'll be showing you how to manipulate picture to this extent if this is your first time visiting don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon if you have any question you can contact me and i'll get back to you as soon as possible so with no further ado let's jump into action so here's the result of what i want to achieve i actually did a video on how to create this mirror reflection in my previous video so i'll still be showing you how to do it again in this particular one and also how to add these additional pictures i wasn't planning on doing a video on this but i saw it has more engagement than my previous post on my community it has almost 90 likes on my community on my youtube community so i decided to do a tutorial for you guys on how to do that but in this tutorial i won't be jumping into any other thing than bringing in the object so i've already done the background extension here i've removed the blemishes from the background i'll smoothing the background from a to z here's what our background looks like before and even this i've already done an extension here and remove some blemishes so this is the after result of me cleaning the background adding some gradient map to it if you want to know how i get this clean background you want to know i smooth in the background from a to z there are tons of video on my channel that will help you achieve just that so only what we are going to be doing in this video is we are going to be bringing in our overlays our png file and also we are going to be doing a little bit of color grading to the picture so let me open the layer that i've worked on before so this is the extension and this is the background remover and stop so and here is our object layer over here here is our model she's standing on her own so if you want to know how i get to this stage there are videos on my channel that will help you with that so i'll just be showing you how to bring in the files and place them into photoshop so whatever we are going to be doing right now for now we're going to make sure it's below our model layer so let's click the layer directly below our model layer which is this our layer so we have over here so I can decide to reduce a little bit of substitution from the background maybe the background is too reddish it has a reddish look and it's the skin is somehow compared to our model skin so let's just reduce the saturation a little bit all we just need to do is to go to our adjustment layer over here then we'll click on our hue and saturation so we just have to click on colorize click on colorize you can see automatically it's going to change the color for us so you cannot adjust the color you want to be there so you can adjust the color any color you want for your picture as you can see you're going to change the color for you perfectly that isn't looking as if you change any color as you can see right now so you can start to do anything there or you can just reduce the saturation of the previous color you are using something like this so click on your ok so the next thing for what to be doing right now is to be bringing in the overlay we'll be making use of so i'll just go to my file manager i'll pick the first overlay so this is the first overlay I'll be making use of right now. I just have to drag it into my Photoshop. Drag into my Photoshop. As you can see, it's perfectly placed. I'll click on my OK. Then I'll change the blend mode from normal. I'll change it to soft light. From normal, change it to soft light. As you can see, automatically, it's going to fit in perfectly. So that's that. The next thing we'll be doing. It's a way to be bringing in the additional features which is our png file that's why i advise you guys to get my video course once you get my video course and you're able to download file the way i came across this file i was just playing around with some of the tools i have on my desktop so i just downloaded some new tools i just decided to mess with them that was the reason i was able to achieve this not that i plan to achieve this uh so far so that's the reason that's the way i got what i needed so now let's go back to our file manager now let's click on our file manager so we are going to be bringing in this mirror right now we are going to drag it into photoshop so we're going to reduce the size sorry let's drag it back into photoshop back to our file manager drag into our photoshop then let's reduce the size until we see fit and drag it to the location we want it to be as you can see right now so let's say we want it to be around there we just have to place it 
but the issue we are having right now is when we brought in our png file which is this it does not come with a shadow so it's looking as if we drag it into photoshop so we are going to be creating a shadow for it just as we always do so for we to do that we are going to be picking our pen tool right now let's pick our pen tool here's our pen tool over here so we are going to make a selection around this area so firstly let's try zooming in i want to bring in my navigational panel just go to my window look for my navigation click on it then let me zoom in a little bit as you can see so let's create our shadow right now how are we going to be doing that already picked our pen to make sure the selection is on path so we are going to click on the four area over here click 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 here click here then let's meet it up together here again so we want to be applying the shadow on our mirror right now so for we to do that we need the empty new layer so you just have to create an empty new layer over here click on it then drag it below our mirror layer because we want it to be below it not above it so once we make the selection now you just have to click on make selection the feather let's use 30 as our feather click on 30 click on it as you can see right now but i think 30 is too much ctrl z to go back so now let's use about 15 or so make selection let's use 15 okay 15 is still okay right now so the next thing we just need to do is we'll go to our polygonal lag like tool which is over here click on it then we right click on it go to fill remove from content that way click on color make sure we fill the color up with black then you click on our ok ctrl d to deselect ctrl d to deselect as you can see right now we've created a realistic shadow for our mirror so that it doesn't look as if we just drag the mirror in it will look as if the mirror is already there so the next thing we need to do we have to put a reflection in the mirror as you all know if you want to do a manipulation like this you have to start from the shoot so we actually took the, a back view of this picture the way i did the front view so i just have to come to this area over here i have to come to here so this is the back view of the picture i already did a little bit as you can see the background is not smooth because i'm not needing the entire background so i just did add a little bit of texture to it so that it will look as if it will look the same as the texture we have over here so i took the back view for me to put in this mirror over here so i'm going to be selecting the area i will add the back view to so let's zoom in right now to see what we are doing let's zoom in ctrl plus what we want to do right now is we want to crop out this whitish area so that we can put our model back view there so that it's going to look exactly like a mirror reflection the way we want it to be so i'm going to be selecting it gently one after the other as you can see right now i'm going to select it gently so that it's going to fit in there perfectly and it's going to look real it's exactly the way it's going to look in the studio if you are if you have a mirror there so let's keep doing that so if you are interested in getting my video calls there's a link in the description below you can actually get them there so as you can see right now we make a perfect selection of what we just need right now so but what we want to do now is we want to duplicate this from the mirror not from the shadow and you know right now we're already on our, our shadow layer this is it right there but what we want to do now is, our, is on our image layer which is our mirror layer so you have to click on it then you click on ctrl j to duplicate as you can see right now if i'm to turn on the mirror layer right now this area we want to apply our model back view on is already selected perfectly so let's turn this back on again then we are going to be dragging in our model back view i'm going to drag it in from this other document over here let's just drag it as you can see so ctrl minus to zoom out so i want to adjust the size ctrl t for free transform so let's just let's just reduce the sides to fit in the way we want it to be so let's adjust it so we'll click on our ok so this time around it's not looking all nice now the reason is that we are yet to clip it with the image below we are yet to clip it with the one we just cropped out so for we to do that you just have to right click on it 
we have to right click on it then create a clipping mark still go back to ctrl c again then we readjust it so it's going to look perfectly enough if it's the size is too much you just have to hold down your shift key reduce the size again so i can get what you need perfectly fine as you can see right now as you can see so once you're done we are just click on your enter as you can see we, we did exactly what we promised to do this is our back view over here just like the one we have over here almost the same thing so the next thing we'll be doing right now let's see we are going to be bringing in the additional features we want to add right now which is this our musical instrument here i i don't know its name exactly but i'll be just bringing it into photoshop but for we to bring that in now firstly let's bring in our cutting as you all know this is the signature of my background manipulation i just love this cutting because it goes with everything i want to do so i just made it my signature in most pictures i did this day i tend to use a cutting like this which look perfectly pleased as if the cutting was actually there it doesn't look manipulated it look a lot real so i'll be going to my file manager and bringing that up right now so here is my file manager over here and here is my cutting so i just have to drag it into photoshop again i'll drag it into photoshop i click on my ok sorry the reason why it's not showing we are yet to turn on our image layer which we are using as sample let's turn it off right now so this is the one we just brought in ctrl t for free transform then we just reduce the size till we see if it I think i like my size around there then i adjust it to the area i want it to be which is around there so i click on my ok you can see we brought in we brought in our cotton next thing let us bring in our musical instrument and we'll call it a day so let's go back to our file manager again click on our file manager here's our make musical instrument so we'll drag it into photoshop drag it in into photoshop we reduce the size to receive fit ctrl z ctrl z let's go back and drag it in again let's drag it into photoshop so we adjust the size to receive it. Think I like the size, I like it around there. I'll adjust it. I will adjust it. Then I'll click on my OK. So I will. I'm going to shift to the area I want it to be. So basically, do what we promised to. We did what we promised to do. And uh, but the issue we're having right now, it doesn't look as if there's a shadow here it doesn't look as if there's a shadow here so let's let's try and add a little bit of shadow there ourselves so the image you just brought in right now which is this musical instrument so let's duplicate it by clicking on ctrl j ctrl j as you can see let's drag it down a little bit let's drag it down let's drag the below layer down we are going to be using it as our shadow let's drag it down as you can see right now so let's control click on it control click then we are going to go to our polygonal axle tool right click on it i'm going to right click on it then go to our fill sorry the reason why it's not going to fill right now we are yet to rasterize the layer we are working on right now it's already not smart object and when it comes to smart object there's a limit to what you can do there so let's right click on it then click on rasterize so if you have to right click now you are going to see our fill is turned on so we're going to click on our color click on color make sure it's on black 100 percent black then you click on your ok so ctrl d to deselect ctrl d to deselect so you can see right now we've added a little bit of shadow but the issue there right now is that the shadow is also reflecting here and here is where we want the shadow to be and the shadow is looking all that sharp so let's try to blow it out a little bit so for you to do that we will just create our shadow now let's control click on it then we are going to click on our max as you can see right now so the next thing we'll be doing right now we are going to change our brush color to black then we're going to pick our gradient tool these are gradients over here we're going to click on it click on our gradient so we are going to open the gradient panel we pick from black to nothing click on our ok so for you to know what we are doing let's turn on the real image layer not the one with the shadow as you can see right now 
so we want to be cleaning off this area a little bit so make sure your brush color is on black then you drag your gradient down as you can see as you can see we are trying to clean off the shadow so that it's going to be exactly where we want it to be as you can see right now so all these parts we are cleaning off we don't want the shadow to be there we really want it to be at this bottom part so let's turn back our image layer right now as you can see right now it's only there exactly where we want it to be but it's looking rather sharp so let's feather it a little bit so let's click on this then we'll go to our property we are on our max right now so let's click, click on our property so if your property is not here this is all property if not here just come to your window on that window then you'll search your property so here is it all. once you click on it it's going to pop up like this so this time around we are increasing our feather increasing our feather 24 is too much okay i think 17 is okay as you can see right now we already have our shadow here perfectly placed so we are done with bringing in all the files we need the next step is color grading but before we start color grading let's add a little bit of vintage to the document you just created right now so for you to do that you all know the way i love adding my vintage i click on the uppermost layer of my document so I'll just make sure I click on my Eclipse card too. Click on it. I'll hold down my Shift key. I'll cycle around it. As you can see right now, I'll adjust it to the area I want it to be. Then I'll click on Control Shift and I to invert my selection. Then I'll go to my adjustment layer over here. I'll click on my solid color. Make sure it's on 100% black. I'll click on OK. Then I'll go back to my property again, which is over here. I'll make sure I'm clicking on my max. Then I'll feather about 500 or so. I think 574 is okay. Then I'll have to reduce the opacity, bring the opacity down a little bit. Okay, that is okay for my opacity. But if you notice, we are missing something out. We are here to bring in something, which is the file I just decided to add, which is this musical string over here. When it comes to manipulation, if you are trying to do something, especially if you have a particular concept in mind, you need to go all in with the concept so that it's going to look all that nice so this is a mu musical instrument right now so we are adding a musical string to it to make it look more realistic more as a more enticing so we are going to be doing just that so i'll just go to my back to my file manager and bring, pick up our final tool here's my file manager over here so i have this file i just got as of recent actually just play messing around with it then actually got one which actually work for me which is this i'll be dropping it for you guys to download for free in the link in my description so just have to drag into my photoshop wait for it to load up as you can see it came with its own background it came with its own background so we are going to i'll be showing you how to kill the background with just a single click so let's just drag it to the place we want it to be let's say we want it to be around there let's bring it down below our black layer so what we just need to do now is just to change the blend mode from normal let's change it to screen and see as you can see once we change it to screen it's going to kill all the old black there for us and leave in the exact color that is supposed to be there so with just a single clean you can actually remove background for, from a file if it has a solid few color especially if it is black and white you can actually kill the background color with just a single click so that being said now and we already added our vintage next thing is just for we to start color grading i'll be making use of just two color grading file and you know i love using my files a lot so the first one is going to buy it's going to be my chocolate color so let's go to our color lookup click on our color lookup click on load 3d lots now go to where it's located as you can see mela chocolate wait for it to load up boom automatically it will color with the picture for us perfectly but i don't love using just this lot alone i just i feel like just adding a little bit of color skin lot to it so it's going to brighten up the picture a little bit for us so i'll still go back to my adjustment layer again still click on my color lookup still click on load 3d lot again just come down here i'll click on my natural color wait for it to load up boom but as you can see right now the saturation of what we just brought in is too much so let's reduce the opacity let's bring the opacity down okay 37 is okay then we we'll click on our okay so basically we've done what we promised to do 